Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, it's Greg here again. Uh, Happy New Year and I hope you all had a good Christmas. So I've done off me my first time back in the bench since the 22nd of December. So I've had a family over for Christmas so I uh, spent as much time as possible with those. So this is the new build me and Paul are going to do. Uh, Paul's already done his upload video, I'm going to do mine now. I'm going to build the same Merkava, but from a different company, obviously you can see it's Hobby Boss and it's the IDF Merkava Mark 3D LIC a nice kit, sorry about the glare whole kit, but it looks, it's it's nice uh, detail on it let's say we've got this on the side, just a, you know profile of it, looks, it look, I think it looks sexy it's, I really, it it's one of the nicest looking tanks obviously we've got that on the front and a little bit of blurb if you want to read it and four to edge cells, hold it there in a second and you can have a read uh, another profile picture and obviously it's a Hobby Boss kit and the number for the kit is 82476 it's fairly popular on there, it's not too expensive either it's fairly popular on uh, eBay and places like that so let's have a, a quick, I'm not going to do an inbox because it's been done before but this is what I'm going to do in here so I've got bought some optional extras as well for it the barrel on its way. See, so yeah, I've built the tracks as uh, Paul, Paul has done the same for a quiet period. So I built the tracks. Fairly easy to go together. So they're built. See, so yeah, it's a messing around with the little plastic ones, even though they're not bad quality. Also, I have this IDF uh, 50 cal. Got those, two of those in that pack, so resin and other bits and pieces in there. We'll have a look, clean them all up, it's all resin in there, so we can clean all that up and see what they like. But the keep ones are pretty nice as well, I have to admit. But we'll keep them just in case. And I was just messing around with the tracks, it's got the small pins that go in the sides, if you can see those. They're easy to go in. They do, yeah, you know, they're a nice track. They are a nice track, but you have to be very careful when you're putting the pins in. You don't have too much glue on it like I did, and it, well, it's not quite separate, not that much movement on it. So, Also, I've got those. I've had these for quite a while. The stencils, I'm sure they'll come in quite useful with the build. But they have quite a long time. And finally, I've got the... Uh, the storage basket and bins for the back and a couple of bits and bobs to go in there as well so I just thought I'd pimp it up a little bit well, let's put all these to the side and you can see by the detail obviously I didn't realise this one it's actually got the uh, the coating on as well let me see if you can see it through the plastic let's have a look, let's take it out of the plastic seems it's going to be built shortly so, as you can see, you know, there's nothing wrong with the quality on that. Really isn't. And they got the, the uh, non slip surface as well on it. And I think around about 30 quid for these kits, so they're not overly expensive, for the, you know, for the quality that you get. They look uh, really, really nice. I'm going to see if the lower hull's like that, which I presume it will be. Sorry, the upper hull. And it's a Vigander. And again it is, let's just take this out of the bag again and we'll have a quick, quick look at this. And again, yep, I can't argue with that again, you've got the quality of that and the detail is really exquisite. The uh, risen, uh, I presume the bolt heads, they're quite nice. And you've got the texture on there again. And on the back obviously this is uh, what you, front ended uh, engine. Mid-engine sports car, as I say. Are the engines at the front on this one? Well, I think it's one of the only ones in the uh, modern day tanks that's uh, got the engine at the front. And obviously it's got the rear for the troops. I think it carries it six. Six troops, something like that in the back. Oh, well, the kit looks nice. It's bagged beautifully again, as normal with uh, Hobby Boss and Trump Trump will do the same. And he's fine small parts. It's covered up with... Uh, with foam, and you can see there's, there's plenty of plastic in the box. There's plenty, plenty of plastic. There really is. Instructions there, there's the, obviously the, the uh, tracks. And what else is on the other side? 
So um, will this go back in? Never usually does, does it? Let's see what's going to bother because I'm going to be building it shortly. And you got three, three, three PE uh, strands. Got the grills and bents and things, and I'm not sure what they're for. And on the other side, we have some more metal stuff as well. And you got cable, copper cable, which is nice. It's malleable, it looks good, so no problem. And obviously the decals I'm probably not used for the stencils. Let's open this up and let's see let's, what we've got. It's going to go onto a very small sort of vignette, more than a dial. And it's got the actual ball and chain armour coming with it as well. So that's going to be fun to do. Yeah, you have know, got the. Uh, yeah, I think it won't be too bad to do that, he says. But the option is there, anyhow. There's many options. And again, we were watching Paul's video. This one's the same. The actual wheels are separate and they're already together for the uh, idler. Again, nice neat quality. It's got the, uh, the holes for the sand and things to go out through. You can see those through, the, through that. The poly caps and the lower hole. Obviously, it's a lot of stuff to go on there. But, uh, yeah, nothing wrong at all with that. Nothing there. And I think that's it for that. So, let's just pop all this stuff back in here for now. What came out of here. Probably all won't go back in now. They were separate, weren't they? Let's have a look at these uh, these things that we've got from here. These legends, quite decent stuff. So, got the rear storage bins. Nice detail on those. Obviously, you've got to take the plug off the bottom, but uh, the detail is really nice on those. And we've got the the identification uh, markings. We've got those. Um, Like canvasy cover stuff, oh, I'll probably use those as well. I think it's three of those, and obviously, you've got a little bit of t uh, tarps and things there, not a lot. And the main part is the uh, turret basket, which again is nicely done. Again, on the sides, so you just gotta be careful when you take the plug off, obviously, it's gonna take a bit of doing. But uh, yeah, so it's going to look nice on the vehicle when it's done, or when it's getting built I should say. And there's two more things I've got for you for the diorama. Well, it's not a diorama, it's more just a, a vignette really than anything else. Which I shall show you in a second, I'll put these back. I've got two videos today. I've just got a kit that's just arrived that um, I'd like to do an unboxing of. Um, also we've got... I'm going to put the mine roll, hopefully this one will fit, it's a Meng one, cheap enough, I think I paid off I can't know, 13, 14 quid or something off, off Amazon, I must have got it at the right time, so hopefully that should fit the um, Merkava 3, I think it does because it fits the Meng one, so touch wood it'll fix the, uh, fit the um, Hobby Boss one, a fairly straightforward build. Details are pretty nice. Nice, pretty nice. So you know, you got one destruction book. As you go, nice, nice Meng destructions, and you know, got plenty. One, two, three, four, about four sprues all together. But it's uh, you know, typical Meng stuff. So I think that'll go in nicely with the. Uh, Obviously you've got the chain and the rope as well, probably change out the rope, but the chain looks nice. And the final thing is I'm only going to use probably one of these when it when it comes round to it. Put that to the side. Which again is another Meng kit. Well of these I got at Christmas. Out of that set there. I'm probably gonna use this guy here. 
Probably going to use him just sitting in the Commander's Cooper at the top, watching mine. I don't think I'll have any other figures, I'll probably just use him. And again, you've got, um, you know, main quality all over this again. You've got two sprues. Two sprues? Yep, two sprues. And you've actually got the bottles as well, which will come in very handy. You've got the bottles, clear bottles. And the figures look fine. Well, there's no, nothing wrong with those. They'll build up okay. Okay, nice and simple builds. Obviously not as good as resin, but... You know, good enough for what I need for this. I could struggle to find any idea um, figures in uh, resin. So I'll use that. So that's it. So that's the build it's going to be. It's the buddy build with me and Paul from Paul's Military Models or Military Model of Paul. Still never get it right. And uh, we're looking forward to that. This will be started today. I shall just put the lid back on it now. Um, yeah, we'll start that today. Got a clear bench, everything's hunky dory as they say. And yeah, I'm really excited to get on with the new build. So I say thank you very much again for all my subscribers. I haven't forgotten about the um, the giveaway, and so far I've, there's only three people actually uh, said of three three people actually watched it to the end to see I'm in. So three people so far. I'll leave it till the end of January, and then we shall uh, go from there. If nobody else pops up with anything, then you've got it's a three in, three in one chance of you getting the kit. So, which was a bit disappointed. I thought more people would have. Uh, hung about and had a look, but never mind, never mind, it's everybody to their own, each and their own. So, this is Miguel signing off, and we're back very shortly with a, uh, a kit review of the new Ryfield kit, that's all I'm going to say, so, I'll see you very, very soon, so it's Greg signing off, and we'll see you soon.